are now fucking with Hood Chart Radio. Up, we trapping out the bandwidth, bitch. Yeah, 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 this your boy Fort Knox. We in the building. Jersey girl, say what's up to the people. Good morning, this is Jersey girl. What's going on with y'all this morning? Get y'all funky asses up. Make sure you get in a fucking shower too, man. We talking about you took a shower last night. It's summertime, nigga. Them nuts got slime all on them and shit. So anyway, we are gonna talk about what's going on in hip-hop right now. We got the craziest shit now. We all know about hip-hop uh, legacies, you know what I'm saying? Which is basically the dopest rappers when their kids come up and they try to rap, and we all give them a, 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 a spin or two just out of respect for their pops or whatever. But you, I got to talk about this one, man. Now, you got the new shit out, man. And I, it's all due respect, Puff. I love you, baby. I love you, Puff. But I got to get you, my nigga. We, we wouldn't be real over here. You know what I mean? That's the problem. Mother niggas is fake, man. Up at the mother stations. They kissing too much ass, man. Because they still, you know what I mean? They thirsty for some Ciroc shit, man. I buy my Ciroc out the store. I don't give a fuck. I like Ciroc. You know what I mean? But come on, son. You got your son. You know what I mean? Christian Combs. Come on, son. He doing the Diddy Bop now. He doing the Diddy Bop. And I'm not going to say it's the worst shit I ever heard. No, but it's it's, not it's, the it's unnecessary. But what, but what I'm saying is, it's unnecessary when, when you got a lot of hot when artists. You're Diddy, okay, your come on, son can come be on, doing son. something other come than on, son. dancing come on, son. And, and, and doing a little on, jig son. on the stage. Okay, come now on, son. he may have talent and all of this and all of that, but it's not the platform. And it's not even that. You know what it is? That. The the game is not going to respect it, and that's why I'm saying I'm not dissing him. You got hip hop artists that come through the legacy like Diggy and them. Diggy may not be the, the best rapper in the world, but he for his little teeny bopper age group, he doing his thing. I can't hate on that. He got the swag, he got the stay. He just tried to be a little bit too much like Drake. That's kind of what kind of messed him up, I think. You know, but you know, you got other people, man. The easy son is gangster. That's what I'm saying. The tween, the tween teen market, that's what he's for. Right. He's not really for no MC Cypher and all that bullshit. Right, right. So we're going to let him slide. Now, you got Diddy's son. He got the dance moves down. I give you, you hand them niggas rehearsing. I give you that. But this ain't your personal talent show, man. Everybody know BET Weekend just happened, man. Big shout to uh, Janelle Monet with the Prince Tribute. Big shout to everybody that did their thing, right? But we're going to talk about Diddy's damn kids. They had him on the pre-show shit, the, uh, the BET experience. We caught that. Big shout to BET, too. You know y'all had to bring 106 back. Y'all better have bring it back because Hood Chart going to take the fuck over. Y'all let World Star Hip Hop and big shout to World Star. Big shout to Q over there. Ain't no hate over here. I, re I respect everybody doing their thing. But y'all know that World Star had took over with them goddamn videos. And y'all had to get 106 back popping. Okay? Because if not, Y'all niggas gonna have a problem. Now, anyway, Diddy's kids was up there. And, you know, Justin Combs just graduated. Big shout out to him, UCLA. He got his degree. Nice, you know, young black men striving for greatness. And that's where they need to be, in the office. Y'all need to be running the label behind the desk, man. You want to jump up and down on the stage, man? It's hot out there, man. It's like 100 degrees in L.A. right now. Not only that. It disrespects the legacy of what bad boys stand for. I got respect for that, man. The Biggie and them put it down. Faith put it down. 112, Mace. You know what I'm saying? When the locks was down. You know what I'm saying? They, they you, Come on, man. Black day Rob. 26. You even got to give Day 26. Man, them Day 26, they, niggas. They, come on, man. Listen, we talking they, about they bad boys. We ain't talking about the TV era. We talking about <laughs> when Puff was skinny as hell, hustling on the train from, from what? Howard? He went to Howard. Howard. Yeah, he went to Howard. On the train, hustling mixtapes in the clubs in New York City. That's what I'm talking. I'm talking about showing puffy, puff daddy combs. Not this Diddy, you know what I mean? Too much wave grease sliding down the stage and tight ass suits on. I ain't talking about that. I want to see puff daddy with the motherfucking Kango on to the side, nigga doing the Diddy Bop in the goddamn uh Flavian Your Ear remix, Diddy. I mean, that's what I'm talking about. Puff, okay, you know what I, I mean? Respect with respect the records in the I in the trunk and that. shit. Broke, you know what I mean? Getting that money on the side of town, nigga. But we ain't gonna draw snitch on you. Now, anyway, your son and them ain't went through none of that. You made these kids in the band go for some cheesecake to Brooklyn. Why your son ain't had to walk for no cheesecake? As an artist, as a hip hop aficionado, we can't respect that, my nigga. You put the locks through all kind of drama with they publishing, man. How you just going to, come on, the locks were signed to Justin Combs publishing, man. He got a restaurant in his name. I'm not hating on Justin. Justin is cool. 
But what I'm saying, then you let the next ones come up and they didn't have to pay the dues. At least you didn't show. Maybe you did put them through something. I'm pretty sure you did. But you didn't show the people that. You just throw them on the stage. Oh, the Cones. Oh, Christian Cones. Did it this and this and this and that. Like, come on, man. You can't do that because what's going to happen is, yeah, you're going to get a few of magazines from the relationships, from the respect. But you really not giving him a chance to be an artist. If he wants to be an artist, he should have came out with a hot song and nobody known that was your son. And then you put him on and put the publicity behind him that that was your son. But you had he had to earn his stripes in the music game first before you gave him that cosign. You feel what I'm saying? So you ain't give Jeremiah no cosign. We know that that's your that's son. your damn son. But anyway, we're gonna get back to the music. This is Hood Chart. That's another show. This is Fort Knox and Jersey Girl. Hood Chart Radio Fire Squad. Let's get it. 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 Let's get it, 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 let's get it. Bitch! Go pay Jeremiah that child support, nigga. You know that's your son, man. You know that's your son. Tune in next week. We'll be on that. Peace. Peace.